Okay, the last time we talked about the setup, I don't want to make it sound too complicated with these four steps. I just wanted to point out some of the different movements involved. These next three steps kind of interact with each other. What I'm talking about with setting the angle is the angle of your steer tires. And if you've already got a good setup, they might already be at a good angle. We saw in the other video that how you turn the steering wheel affects the direction of your trailer. Besides that, how far you turn the wheel will affect how sharply the trailer turns. So if you ended up here at the end of your setup, you just need a slight turn of the wheel to the right. And when you start backing up, the trailer will start turning gradually to the left. Now maybe there is a fence over here and a couple of vehicles. And this is the best you could do for a setup. You'll need to turn the wheels hard to the right to get the trailer to turn sharply to the left. Next thing on our list is following the trailer. Following the trailer means that when you're backing up to a dock or into a parking space and the tractor and the trailer at an angle to each other, you need to bring the front of the tractor around so it follows the trailer into the space. Once you get an angle like this, if you stayed at that angle, you'd end up hitting this trailer over here. So when you start getting near that space, you've got to start straightening out the tractor. What you do with the steering wheel to follow the trailer depends on how you got at that angle to begin with. To get into the space, you'll have to move the trailer over to the left. So remember from our last video, turn the wheel to the right. This little arrow is where the front of the tractor is going to go. And it makes the trailer angle to the left. So now to follow the trailer, you turn the wheel the opposite direction. Turn the wheel to the left. And now they're at this angle. And if you follow this angle of your steer tire, it's going to follow this line right into the space, the same line the trailer's taken. Now if you got at that angle by pulling forward, if you remember from the last video, I did a back up off of a street into an entrance. At the end of my pull up in the middle of the street, I angled the tractor a little bit to the left so that I could see what was going on back here. Now by angling to the left and turning the wheel to the left, I'm already at that angle to follow the trailer. So a lot depends on where your steer tires end up at the end of your setup. So if I was doing this from a, a street into an entrance, I'm angled to the left. Uh, now I may not be at enough of an angle to follow the trailer. So what I'll do is usually start backing up for one or two feet. And you can kind of get an idea of the direction the trailer is heading. If it's heading over this way too far, you follow it even more. Turn the wheel to the left even more. That makes the front of the tractor swing around quicker and it keeps the trailer over on this side more. If you get too close over here, just pull forward a few feet and follow the trailer even more. Turn the wheel more to the left. That's going to make the trailer move over to the right a little more. Following the trailer is tricky because there's a delay time involved. Once you're at an angle like this, even if you've got the wheel turned all the way to the left to follow the trailer, once you start backing up, it's going to take a few feet before this is finally straightened out. Until it's straightened out, the trailer is going to keep going to the left. So you've got to anticipate it. You almost have to start following the trailer before you think you need to follow it. If you're close to the space and you wait till the trailer's pointed to the space, it's usually too late to start following it. You've got to start doing that ahead of time. Usually when I do a bad backup, it's because I'm too close over on this side. That means I waited too long to follow the trailer or I didn't have the wheels turn hard enough to the left to follow the trailer. And just remember all these angles we're talking about uh, when you're blindsiding you're going to be exact opposite of these angles. It's a little confusing thinking about how you're going to turn the steering wheel when you're backing up. I remember when I first started consciously thinking okay well, I turn the wheel to the right the trailer will go to the left. Uh, drivers have different ways of thinking about it. 
some drivers think of turning the wheel towards the obstacle you want to avoid. So if you've got an obstacle on the left, turn the wheel to the left, the trailer go to the right. Now if I'm in the middle of a backup, the tractor and the trailer are at an angle to each other, and I need to follow the trailer more, I kind of think of this as part of a circle. And when I need to follow the trailer more, or go over this way to make the circle wider, I think of turning towards the middle of the circle. And that way you follow the trailer more. In the next video we'll get back in the truck and we'll go over following the trailer. In my book there's a formula I worked out that you can use for backing in tight spaces. And I also give quite a few tips on getting around city streets.